What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showcasing how I personally style my Birkenstock Bostons, as well as why I still think it's one of the essentials in my wardrobes. Although they've been mainstream for the past two-ish years, I thought that I'd give my personal flair and show you guys how I style them, maybe give you guys some inspiration and hopefully convince you guys to buy them. I've had my personal pair for just a little under two years now and my brother also got the Mocha pair, so just goes to show how versatile and essential this is for any man's wardrobe. I've used my personal pair in winter, spring, summer, and fall, and they're such an easy piece to like just throw on, go out on a casual day, and they're also versatile enough to dress them up just a little bit. To kick things off, I'll go over a couple things that you guys should know before you buy a Birkenstock Boston if you don't have a pair already. First off, the Birkenstock Bostons come in European sizing, so for me, a size 43 would equate to a size 10, which is true to size. Most retailers will only display the European size, but you can always Google the conversion. Another thing to note is that the Birkenstocks do not come in half sizes, so if you're a size 10 and a half, there isn't a 43 and a half for you. But Birkenstock has half sizes clumped in with the base number, so 43 and a halves would go with a 43 based on their size conversion chart. Secondly, they come in a plethora of colors as well as materials. I think one of the most bought versions so far is probably the suede taupe version, which is the one that I have right here. From my experience, the suede version doesn't hold its shape as well as the leather version. And as you can see here, it kind of flops down when you aren't wearing it, which kind of makes it difficult to put on sometimes, but honestly, it isn't really a bother. Also, depending on how you'd style them or even where you're from can also dictate what the best material is for you such as if you're from Seattle or British Columbia where it rains a bunch. You might want to opt for the oiled leather version where you can spray some DWR on so it's water resistant instead of going for a suede leather or even the shirling material. And speaking of wearing them, it took me a couple of wears to really break them in, but they are definitely such a comfortable shoe because they do mold to your feet. So if you're looking for a shoe that is versatile, comfortable, and honestly doesn't look half bad, these are them. Sometimes I'd have an outfit based around a different shoe and last minute opt out for my Birkenstock Bostons and they'd fit in seamlessly. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into four outfits that I'd style with my Birkenstock Bostons. This outfit is one that I'd wear going out to the movies or a nice date. We have my Fear of God corduroy jacket paired with a white t-shirt under. For the pants, we have some Stone Island cargos and then I throw on some shades and that's an outfit. It's a nice clean aesthetic that can definitely be replicated and the Birkenstocks give it a nice comfy vibe. But yeah, I've worn these to the beach, the gym, and to nice restaurants, so they're definitely a versatile piece for me, and they're a definite recommend, especially since you have the ease of a slip-on, the comfortability of a sandal, and you don't got the toes dangling out and about. The next outfit is one where we dial it back. I start by pairing the Birkenstocks off with my favorite Aritzia cargo sweatpants, along with the matching crew neck to go with it. This is a perfect athleisure outfit, something you can go ahead and run some errands in, or a quick fit for your flight to Mexico. The next outfit is something that you'd probably see out in the streets or downtown. This is probably my favorite outfit out of the four. You have these nice painter pants from Dickies sitting right over the Birkenstock. I actually bought these painter pants specifically for the Birkenstock Bostons and they go hand in hand in the outfit. Match these up with this New York Yankees crew neck and that's definitely a fit you can wear in the fall. This is something that I can see myself wearing when I'm going thrift shopping or even going on a little coffee run. Just like the last outfit, I kind of like how the pants sits over the Birkenstock and kind of left up guessing whether it's a shoe or a slipper. And lastly, let's try an outfit for when we want to drop by and just grab a snack or maybe do some work on the side. For the bottoms, we have a pair of vintage Levi's and on top we have this quarter zip from Body of Work. They're an up and coming brand from Toronto, Canada where they design, knit, dye, cut and sew all of their things locally. And they draw reference from vintage sportswear as well as inspire people to live an active lifestyle. I think pairing the quarter zip along with the Birkenstock Bostons gives off a nice smart casual look. And it's definitely something you can see someone wearing at the cafe when they're working on their laptop. And that's that. If you aren't convinced to buy Birkenstock Bostons now, then I don't know what else to say. I think the Birkenstock Boston is such a versatile shoe that men or women can wear. And it's something that is a definite recommend for me just because of its comfortability, its ease of use, and honestly, they just look pretty damn good for me in my opinion. And if you guys stuck around this long and enjoyed the video or learned something, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.